go to all of these different vendors and get a stamp or get them to sign So obviously, you can play high res files, store files. So I do. Certainly. How many can jams have you done in in this state? Uh, we did Can Jam Los Angeles 2009. Yeah. We did then. Uh, we had a hiatus. So yep. then we did Can Jam last year, SoCal, and then uh, Can Jam SoCal this year. So three, three Can Jam. Is this one about the same size last year or bigger or? I would say it's, I mean, I, I, you know, it's hard for me to gauge. I've asked the exhibitors what they say, and they yeah. say it feels about the same as last year. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I was hoping it would be about five times as big as last year. But and you have Ethan, who runs this? Ethan Opolian is the lead organizer of this yeah. event. And, and really all the Can Jams, except for Can Jam and Armea, where yeah. I, I am the lead of that one. And how does this compare to, say, the, the you, you just did one in Singapore as well? Yeah. And Singapore is a madhouse. <laughs> Well, Singapore is our fifth biggest country market in the world. Yeah. So you're looking at what? I don't know the numbers. Five and a half, five, five and a half million people yeah. in a pretty compact area. Um, and they apparently a good percentage of them really like headphones and headphone audio. It's a really sophisticated audience. I mean, I was I was actually learning about products in ears, for example, that I'd never seen or heard before. So, I would guesstimate that maybe Singapore, if it's younger, it would be by a little bit, but I'd say similar age group, similar rate. I, I don't know, man, it was a pretty young audience. Too. There were actually more females at the Singapore show as a percentage of the attendees that were actually there to like listen than any other show we've done. Yeah, That is interesting. Yeah. I mean, I know. I, I mean, no, it's still mostly a dude fest. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. But it's, it's improving. That's good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>